On to our series called Elena's Experiments. Every Monday, we love bringing in local educators and STEM enthusiasts to share ideas for experiments and demonstrations you can do at home using things you probably have just laying around the house. Joining us in studio today, we have Delia Navarro from Sylvan Learning of Bakersfield. Thank you for stopping by. Always a pleasure. I always love whenever you bring everything in, it's all set up, and this is all stuff I probably have at my house. You can, or yeah. you can find it online. Um, we're going to make some worms today. Fun. We're playing with worms. Okay. And really, it's made made out of seaweed extract. Okay. You may not have that at home. And pickle juice. Ooh, interesting. I didn't have enough pickle juice at home, so I did have to have some sodium alginate. Okay. And we have calcium chloride. Okay. So that's basically what we're gonna be doing today to create this. It's really cool when you think about going to the yogurt shop and the boba. <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing today. It, these are food grade, okay. so it is edible. Um, today it won't be very tasty though, so keep that in mind. We can make some changes and have some Kool-Aid mix that'll make it a little, little more fun. Okay, fun, because we know toddlers are always putting everything in their mouths yes. and toddlers love worms. So we're gonna start with a cup of the um, calcium chloride. Okay. And we're gonna put it in warm water so that it can distill. Okay. And then on the other one, we're gonna put the sodium alginate. Perfect. So basically you just mix it in. I already have some ready to go. Okay. But you'll see that they're little, you see this? Oh, they're like little crystals. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you put it in there and Fun. you're going to need to dissolve it quite a bit because you want the solution to be fully dissolved. Okay. Might need to use a blender. Okay. Um, so keep that in mind with this. It takes a little bit of time. That's why I decided to do some in advance. Perfect. The next thing you're going to do is grab some of the water. Okay. Thank you for that. And are the, both of these warm water? Warm water. Okay. Um, uh, you could do about a half a cup of this for the sodium alginate. Okay. Does and it need to be very fourth. precise? Not exactly, okay. no. And what you'll see when you start mixing the al sodium alginate in here is that it immediately will start to... Oh, let's just use this Use one. that one. It'll start to clump together. Oh, yes. It's kind of like flour. It's, it's absorbing the water, so that's natural. Again, you might want to use the, the mixer, the blender for this one, and then give it some time to air out. Okay. Um, so that you can really get a nice solution in there. Get so it that's blended well. that's basically what you're going to do. The other thing you can do is add some great color. This is a point where you would put some um, Kool-Aid mix if you want it edible. A little flavor. Yes, yeah. yes. Definitely get it to taste very good, because again, this won't taste very well. Right. <laughs> and, and then you're pretty much done there. Okay, cool. And we're gonna begin to mix them together. So okay. let's take our completed products. Or ones that are all blended with yes. our, our warmer water from before. This They're is just like, go. you know, food shows, it's all set. So I have our sodium. Okay. Alginate. Do you wanna I take, do. Take it? So this, it looks thicker. It is, it does have a lot now that of it's all dissolved in there. And, and do I do it by drops? Look oh, what happens immediately in there. They just look like little orbs, like the water beads that you play with yes. when you're... Yeah. And they actually have plenty of liquid. Now, what we want to do for the worm, though, mm -hmm. is try it with a long, steady... Squeeze. Yes. Okay. So... Oh, I see. And then it makes worms. <gasps> so you can see that in there. How fun is that? Capture one end here. We can start to see. They immediately form. Immediately form. Oh, my goodness. And you see that part right here? If you pop that... You notice there's still liquid inside. <laughs> so you have My a kids nice would love long this. worm yes. in here. And you can get oh creative. There's so many different things you can do. Yes. I don't know how long that one was. But I also have different colors. Okay. We can try to put a larger amount. Let's see if I can do this. And let's see if I can keep my hands in there. Get the whole thing. To kind of make a blob instead yes. of a worm. Did it work? Did it work? Almost. How fun is that? So this is great for science. Have the kids keep yes. a, a track record. What do you think will happen if you use a spoon? What do you think will happen if you use a wider spout? And then have them keep the records if you pour up the huge worms. <laughs> this is so much fun, Delia. Thank you. So many things you can do. And again, you want to make sure you wash your hands after. This right. would have been pickle juice, so it's very salty. Very salty. Um, so wash your hands afterwards. And this is and the Kool-Aid one? Oh, no, it's, it's not... No, it's not. It's not very tasty, but it is. <laughs> but it is edible for our kiddos. It is edible. <laughs> Sorry, I should have warned you. That. No, you're fine. And then um, when you wash it, you can wash it down the drain. Okay. But do keep in mind you want to keep the water running. Yep. To, to avoid anything getting stuck. Look at getting this. Stuck. One. This is so entertaining. Thank you so much. <laughs>